I'm Brian. And I'm Cynthia. And this is the 2022 Buick Enclave. And today we're going on a, a road, road trip. trip. On this road trip, we headed off to Whistler, British Columbia. And if you know us, when we go on a road trip, we pack everything, sometimes even the kitchen sink. We've got snow gear, swim gear, camera gear, uh, all sorts of stuff, including stuffies as well. And of course, food. Yeah, you can't, can't miss the food. And the rear cargo area ate everything up. This is a three row SUV, this Enclave. We've folded that third row down. Uh, this is also equipped with a hands-free power tailgate. And what's neat is there's an actual a gobo, like a light that projects the Buick onto the ground. And that's the area where you kick and it opens up. I didn't have the greatest success with it all the time. Uh, I'm not sure if I own the vehicle, maybe you know you you find out where that perfect spot is. But it should be fairly easy, right? Because it's an actual light there, and you just kind of break the beam. But uh, nonetheless, it does look pretty cool. Lots of room. Well, if you fold all the seats down, how much room do you get, Cynthia? Well, with overall all the seats folded down, you get a 2,758 liter or 97.4 cubic feet of cargo space. Cynthia is the dumpling girl today. As you can see, she's sporting the, the famous dumpling shirt. <laughs> We've encountered all sorts of weather on this road trip. Uh, beautiful sunshine, rain, even snow. So we're going to give you a whole mixture of different images that you're gonna see here. Uh, some are rainy and dark and some are nice and bright and some are from Buick themselves uh, in a nice sunny situation. Truthfully, we can't really film ourselves when we're driving, especially when we only have one car. In case you didn't know, Whistler, British Columbia is a world-renowned ski resort. The 2010 Winter Olympics happened there. It's about 150 kilometers outside of Vancouver, British Columbia. Um, yeah, and it's just, it's a fabulous spot and it's a great drive to get here. You get on the famous Sea to Sky Highway where you basically drive along the coast for quite a while. It's absolutely gorgeous views. If you're a skier or a boarder, this place is a must to go. Uh, I'll warn you right now though, Whistler is not inexpensive. It's, it's pretty spendy. It does cost a lot of money. So save up those points. That's what we did. So <laughs> uh, the kids don't snow or ski board yet, uh, but we did head to the tube park and that was eye-opening. We've been to other two parks before, but this one is extreme. It was so fast that they had to close a couple of the runs down because they were actually just too fast. And I, my first couple runs, I couldn't believe how fast they were. The girls, they went on a few times and that was it. They, they, they were dying. Like it was, it was, it was quite frightening. Girls, were you scared? Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, be warned, but it's also a lot of fun. If you don't want to ski or board, you can go to the two park and there's a lot of partying and stuff going on at nighttime in Whistler. It's fun. It's a very fun place, but there's lots of other activities to do there. You can go snowmobiling and dog sledding. Of course, the girls, if there's a pool, they're in it and it's pretty hard to get them out. And it's pretty neat to be able to swim when it's uh, snowing outside. It is very, very cool. So let's talk more about the car, but before we do, make sure hit that subscribe button and that like button if you like the content of this channel. It's free, doesn't cost anything, and it just really helps uh, make more content for you guys. So on to this new 2022 Buick Enclave. It's a three row mid-size SUV. This happens to be the top of the line Avenir trim. So. It's a little bit different so that the front grille gets enhanced, but all the 2022 Enclaves get a, a new front end. So you get new grille, you get a new front fascia, standard LED headlamps as well. On, in the back, you get standard LED tail lamps and a new rear fascia as well. Uh, you get 18 inch rims on the base trim. This Avenir gets 20 inch rims. And this color, by the way, Cynthia, what color is it? It's called Rich Garnet Metallic. 
rich garnet metallic. Hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a burgundy, uh, burgundy color. It's nice. It's a nice color. On the inside, lots of premium materials. They have, it's got a good feel uh, and look to it. Even on the side, you have this textured motif and this wood trim here. Uh, these have the, the nice stitched leather seats. You have heating and ventilation as well as massage. However, what do you think of the massage? Ah. <laughs> it's like someone kicking me behind. <laughs> it, seat. Well, you know, it's uh, it, it's kind of just kind of the lumbar just pushing, just kind of pressing on your lower back, and it's better than nothing. But in all fairness, we just came out of you know one of the most highly technol technological vehicles out there, which is the Mercedes Benz EQS, which is one hundred sixty thousand dollars. And that one had, you know, the full massage, and that massage is pretty impressive. But another thing that's impressive with that one, and I'm not sure if this screen is just small or it's just because we just came from such a large screen, um, the infotainment screen on the Enclave is an 8-inch screen. So a standard 8-inch, and the Avenir gets an 8-inch, but with Navi. Uh, also, for the driver's display, standard is 4.3 inch, and this one gets an 8 inch display as well for the driver's display. But you do get wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto as well, built in Amazon Alexa, which we, yeah, so we didn't get a chance to test that out, but you could probably use your Amazon in the vehicle and to, to do things at home, probably, right? So, what do you think of the screen? The screen's a little bit, yeah, like you said, a bit too small, especially for how big the car it is. Yeah. Uh, it's very spacious. Uh, just, yeah, I think they got the room to make it bigger. Yeah, and, and making it bigger, it just gives us more real estate, so you might be able to add more layers, like in your Apple CarPlay or your Android Auto, or when you're using the backup camera, or this also has the surround vision, so it has the 360 camera as well. It just gives you a better, bigger picture. And, and speaking of cameras and screens, this one is also equipped. Actually, uh, the premium trim and up, like this Avenir, gets uh, a new head-up display, as well as the rear view mirror camera. So I've got it switched on right now. Really handy when you have that back filled all the way up to the top and um, you can still see out the back there. Sometimes it's the small things that really impress me or that I really take notice of. And one thing is when you get in the vehicle, when it's colder out, it automatically turns on the, the seat heat and the steering wheel heat for you. And it's just one less thing to do when you get in the car. You start it up or if you want to use remote start, you can just remote start it, get in the vehicle and everything's already, you've got a head start on it already. Mm -hmm. But you didn't like the steering wheel. Uh, yes, it feels really skinny. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's probably a joke there, but anyways, well, I'm not, I noticed it as well, but I didn't think that it's, uh, it didn't bother me. I thought it was a, it was a nice change because some of the new cars now, the steering wheels are too thick. And this, yeah, it's, it's, it feels good. I like it. I like it. It also comes with uh, wireless charging and twin panel roof. Okay, now let's talk about the back there. Now, all Enclaves come as a seven-passenger vehicle. So you get two you get two captain's chairs in the second row, and the third row is a bench. So total of seven passengers. You cannot get eight passengers on the Enclave. Uh, but those rear seats, kids actually really like them. I like them as well because they do slide forward and back. And they have this nice feature how when you to get into the back, they just slide forward and they tilt. Uh, so it's easy to get into that third row if you need to get back there. And if you actually have a car seat, that's a big, a big bonus too, because you don't have to take the car seat out to actually flip it forward. So, you know, a big plus is there. And this is also equipped with tri-zone climate control. So the rear also has their own control and there are air vents for the third row as well. Under the hood of the Enclave is a good old V6. It's a 3.6 liter. Uh, it puts out 310 horsepower and 266 pound-feet of torque. It's matched to a nine-speed automatic transmission. Now in Canada, 
all enclaves come standard with all-wheel drive. Uh, in the U.S., you do have a choice that you can just order just a front-wheel drive enclave. Uh, but yeah, I don't mind at all. Uh, where we get snowy conditions here once in a while, and it's nice to have the all-wheel drive. And what's nice about this all-wheel drive system is there is a selector. So if you don't require it, don't need it, you don't have to have the all-wheel drive on. That's gonna save you some money at the fuel pump, which by the way, this does use regular fuel, which is a big, big bonus. Uh, so this all-wheel drive system can also work to put all the power, 100% of power to any of the wheels um, that have traction which is a big bonus when you're in snowy conditions like we're in as well. So um, yeah, really good system. Love it that you can turn it on and off for sure. So overall, I think the Enclave has been a good partner for our road trip. The, it's actually quite smooth. The engine and the transmission work very well together. Um, I do find though the engine can be a little bit on the noisy side when we're going up these mountain passes. We are asking a little bit more from it you know you can hear it a little bit more maybe a little bit more than what i'd like to hear but otherwise you know um what do you think cynthia yeah it's a very nice smooth comfortable ride i enjoy a lots lots of space here. lots of space and with a family vehicle that's what you want we got space uh you know we didn't have to use a third row but you know if you do need the third row you do have it um yeah and you have the all-wheel drive on demand which is also nice now speaking uh we talked about fuel regular fuel this uh is averaging under 12 liters per 100 kilometers so we're going from 11.7 to about 11.9 which is pretty good for a three-row mid-sized suv and, and doing all these all these hills and stuff like that so it's pretty decent uh, a couple things on the wish list Number one, Cynthia, go ahead. Yeah, just a bit bigger of a infotainment system. That'd be great. Yeah, you know, like we mentioned, the bigger screen would be helpful. Um, also, you can't get rear entertainment screens for this vehicle. Other GM products you can, and it'd be nice to see that as an option as well. The kids really like that. I know you can just put iPads up there, but it, the, the built-in ones are, are actually, they're just really nice. Uh, also, this does have a uh, electric parking brake, but it does not have the auto hold, which I can't find it anyways, which I've, I've just really become accustomed to it. You know, you stop at a, at a light, you have that activate, just take your foot off the brake and it just holds you until you actually press the accelerator again. That, and also, even though the cameras are so clear and they're great cameras and the 360 camera, there is no dedicated camera button. And we really like that uh, because where we park at home a lot of times, we, we always wanna look what's on the, on the side of the car. There are curbs, there's drop-offs um, from the driveway, things uh, similar to that. And we just like to hit the camera button and just activate the camera without having the sensor to do it or being in reverse. And yeah, this one doesn't have it. So that would be nice. It may be there is, it's somewhere, but there's no dedicated, we can't find any button for that. Standard now on all models is the Buick Driver Confidence Plus, which features emergency and pedestrian braking, forward collision alert, front and rear park assist, auto high beams, and lane keeping assist. That's just to name a few. All right, we're almost home now. I hope you enjoyed us bringing you along on our snowy road trip with the Enclave. See you next time. Ciao. Ciao. Meow. 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 Dog. Bye. Bye. <laughs>